delicious hot deli items available Monday through Friday, eat in or take out. Jackson Farms Dairy Store features quality dairy products, the most delectable homemade ice cream you will ever eat, and now available at Jackson Farms is their own farmhouse cheddar cheese and cheese curds. Why not stop in Jackson Farms today? Farm fresh milk, straight off the farm. Quality care doesn't have to be hard to find. NovaCare Rehabilitation. Good afternoon, W. Women's Radio. He keeps kicking me offline. Find out what he's doing, please. Okay, hold on. You. Trust your local pharmacy for all your diabetic needs and to help you. Visit Peach and Pharmacy in downtown Connellsville or call 724-626-9600. Peach and Pharmacy, your partner in diabetic care. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. You can go to Big Box Medical Office. Now serving number 3,943. Or... Hey, come on in. How are you feeling? When you see doctors Paul Hartley and Mary Beth Riley, plus nurse practitioners Tara Bozek, Jessica Reckhardt, and Stacey Morris, you get one-on-one -on -one personal professional health care serving the area for over three decades. If you're looking for a primary care doctor, call doctors Hartley and Riley at 724-437-1109 or online at ppcp.org. Or serving number 3,944. At Uniontown Printing Press, they are more than t-shirts. They are about you and everything you love. And they are local. Operated by Mookie John and Kenny Musco, they share the passion with your group, club, or team. The excitement you have for your event or cause. And that makes your business stand out from the rest. Uniontown Printing Press believes that custom t-shirts do more than just make you look good. They help you feel good and inspire you to do good. Call Uniontown Printing Press at 724-366-7095. That's 724-366-7095. Are you down with UPP? Back here at Peterswood Park in Peters Township. You need town coming to bat here in the top half of the first inning. Let's take a look at their lineup. Leading off and playing second base, senior number 10, Mason Kuhn. Batting second and pitching number 26, Tate Musco. Hitting third and in center field, number 24, Cam Jackson. Wyatt Nails playing third base in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth and playing shortstop, number seven, Austin Grego. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, number 69, Gary Smitley. Batting seventh and left field, number 23, Braden Hinsey. Batting eighth and right field, number 34, Tyler Gasper. And batting ninth and catching, number one, Hunter Smiley. Defensively for Montour, they'll have Andrew Porto out in the left. Zach Shamako playing center field. Jonathan Cecil in right around the horn. It's Michael Ivanhoff playing third. Maddox Tarquinio is the shortstop. Jason Perumba is playing second base. Jason George is the first baseman. Ryan Gamble catching and Mateo Weber pitching for Weber. His eighth appearance of the season has a 4-1 record. 1.71 ERAs, worked 28 and two-thirds innings. Has given up 24 hits. Has struck out 30 while walking 12 all season. He's given up 11 runs, only seven of those 11 earned so far this season. A beautiful afternoon for high school baseball game time. Temperature around 72 degrees under partly sunny skies. No rain expected until around 5 o'clock this afternoon. So we're hopeful we can get this one in here from Peterswood Park. The Uniontown Red Raiders seated 13th. And the Montour Spartans, the number four seed. Again, these two teams met in the first round of the WPIL playoffs last year out at Washington and Jefferson. A game won by Montour over Uniontown, but it was close by a score of 3-2. to two. We mentioned Uniontown has not won a WPIL playoff game since 1983. It's their third straight year in the playoffs. They lost two years ago to knock out at Norwin High School, but they're hoping to give the Spartans a run for their money here this afternoon. The second of the two games here at Peterswood Park, 
we'll have the sixth seed North Catholic taking on 11 seeded Elizabeth Forward. That game scheduled to start around 4.30 this afternoon. Belverna, the number one seed, they'll play 16 seeded Blackhawk also at 4.30 at the Boyce Mayview Complex in Upper St. Clair. As the Red Raiders get set to get things going here in the top half of the first inning, Mason Kuhn to step in, the senior second baseman batting 231 with a solo RBI so far this season as Jason George gives a big hug there to Mateo Weber. And we're set to get this one underway from Peterswood Park in Peters Township, the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Montour Spartans. Weber, a lefty, has been Montour's ace so far this season. And now the referee, or the umpires, excuse me, getting things together. David Opanowski and Jeffrey Ostrich on the bases. Frank Kingerski, your home plate umpire here this afternoon. Now Kuhn set in the batter's box. And the first pitch coming in 2.03 this afternoon. A fastball and first pitch swinging there from Kuhn. Sends it in a shallow right. It'll be the second baseman, Jason Perumba, backing up and making the catch for the first out of this top half of the first inning. And that'll bring up Tate Musco. Musco countering Mateo Weber on the hill this afternoon for Uniontown. And what a great job Musco's done at the plate so far this season. 356 average, three home runs, 10 RBIs. His last go around for Uniontown headed to Marietta College next season. And he'll bat from the left side, lefty versus lefty matchup here with one out in the top half of the first inning. And Weber's first pitch to Musco outside for ball one. We're situated right behind home plate. Good vantage point for this one here from Peterswood Park. Matt Sapienza behind the camera. I'm Brian Morozak, and we have TJ DeStefano back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Nice to have you along with us for Wednesday afternoon of high school baseball here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and of course, Facebook Live. The 1 0. A big fastball there from Weber. Swing and a miss from Musco. That evens up the count at 1-1. One one. The winner here today will take on either 5th-seeded Greater Latrobe or 12th-seeded Hopewell. Those two schools meeting at Plum High School this afternoon. Also a 4 o'clock start as time called by the home plate umpire and a warning being given here to the Montour dugouts. Now Bob Janita, Montour's head coach, coming over and talking to home plate umpire Frank Kingerski. Getting a little explanation here. And now coach telling his team kind of back off a little bit. Umpire taking charge here early on. And the count one and one, one out, top half of the first inning. Union Town and Montour for a first round action from Peterswood Park in Peters Township. And now Kenny Musco coming over and having a quick word as well with Mr. Kingerski. And now Tate stepping back in. The count one and one from Weber to Musco. And Weber's 1-1 one, one pitch. Another fastball, and Musco hits it high in the air on the left side. It'll be the left fielder Porto getting under it, and he'll make the catch. So two up, two down here in the top half of the first inning. That'll bring up the center fielder Cam Jackson. Jackson batting 225 with two RBIs. Eight of the nine Red Raiders in the batting lineup seniors this year and trying to end their high school careers on a high note. Jackson, plenty of speed and try to make some contact here against Weber. Again, Weber entered the game 30 strikeouts to 12 walks so far this season. A little deliberate on the hill. Now Jackson showing bunt pulls back and the pitch misses there for ball one. Uh, the Montour fans thought that was a strike. It was awfully close. They got 1-0 now to Cam Jackson as Jackson steps back in. Choking up on the bat. Long look in now from Weber to Ryan Gamble, the catcher. 1-0 pitch on the way. Jackson hits it on the ground to short. Tarquinio there. Throw over to first close play at first, but in time to Jason George to retire Jackson 6-3 for the third out of the inning. So one, two, three, top half of the first. Move to the bottom of the first in just a moment here on the C.R. Parada Group High School Sports Night. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. 
So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. That's Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division, LLC. Because Ted Silva, body and fender repair, is concerned about our local community, Target Safety Solutions was born. Located beside the Ted Silva Body Shop at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibrations after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement. Their alignment machine can accommodate lowered vehicles, dually trucks, and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features in order to keep their occupants safe. That is the reason Target Safety Solutions originated. The new state-of-the-art facility is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. They are currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick Patricelli and Mike Thomas are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at Target Safety Solutions at 724-550-4403. Back here at Peterswood Park, scoreless heading to the bottom half of the first inning. Brian Morosak along with you, Matt Sapienza behind the camera, and TJ Stefano back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Montour coming to bat. Let's take a look at their lineup. Leading off the pitcher, number seven, Mateo Weber. Batting second and playing shortstop, number 11, Maddox Tarquinio. Batting third, the DH, number 24, Jacob Robinson. In the cleanup spot is the junior, number three, Andrew Porto. Batting fifth and right field, number 20, Jonathan Cecil. Batting sixth and playing first base, number 38, Jason George. Batting seventh and playing third base, number 10, Michael Ivanhoff. Batting eighth and center field, number 14, Zach Shamako. And batting ninth and playing shortstop, number 19, Jason Paremba. As Tate Musco pauses, takes a little knee here, and we'll get started with the bottom half of the first inning. Defensively for... The Uniontown Red Raiders, they'll have Braden Hinsey in left, Cam Jackson in center, and Tyler Gasper in right. Wyatt Nails playing third, Austin Grego, the shortstop, Mason Kuhn playing second, and Luke Gresh playing first. And showing bunt is Mateo Weber. He pulls back, pitch misses for ball one. Hunter Smiley catching and Tate Musco pitching for Uniontown. Musco, one and one record, 0.26 ERA. This is eighth appearance of the season. He's worked 34 innings, giving up nine hits, nine runs, only one earned run so far this season. He came inside there. It's a Weber, almost clipped him, but the pitch misses for ball two. And Musco, a very impressive strikeouts to walks ratio, 69 strikeouts, only 16 walks issued so far this season. And now Musk goes 2-0 here to Mateo Weber. The pitch misses low and outside, so three straight balls from Musco to get this one started. Weber, the sophomore pitcher, entered the game with a 367 average and 11 RBI so far this season for the Montour Spartans. Both teams wearing white here today. Montour with the pinstripe whites, black numbers, a little gold trim, Uniontown, and their normal whites with maroon numbers. 3-0 count, pitch in there for a strike. Weber again showed bunt, pulled back. The count now moves to 3-1. and one. It's Weber, Tarquinio, and Robinson top of the order here in the bottom of the first inning for the Montour Spartans. Musco's 3-1, and that one low and inside for ball four. So a leadoff walk issued from Tate Musco to Mateo Weber, and Montour in business with a base runner here in the bottom half of the first inning with Maddox Tarquinio coming to the plate. Tarquinio, the senior shortstop, a 382 average, has three home runs and 19 RBIs. So far this season has been very impressive at the plate this year for the Montour Spartans. A righty Tarquinio against the lefty Tate Musco. Musco now from the stretch, clean look over Weber at first base. Now delivers the first pitch to Tarquinio. First pitch swinging, sends in a foul territory on the right side. Goes into the woods and out of play. And they count 0-1. 315 down the left field line here at Peterswood Park. 360 to straightaway center field and 300 out to right field. As Tarquinio steps back in behind 0-1 here against Tate Musco with nobody out in a scoreless game in the bottom half of the first inning. And Weber on first and the 0-1 pitch. Misses low, hopped away there from Hunter Smiley and that'll allow Weber to get in a second base safely as it took Smiley a while to Find the baseball there off to his left. So now Weber in scoring position. 
Tarquinio still at the plate. The count one and one. Still nobody out in a scoreless game here in the bottom of the first inning. But the fourth seeded Spartan certainly threatening here early on. Another long look in from Musco. Glance back now. Weber over at second. Now the 1-1 pitch on the way. Breaking ball and Tarquinio hits it high in the air. Deep to center field backing up. And making the grab there is Cam Jackson, runner tagging, and Weber down to third safely. So Tarquinio able to advance Weber down to third. And now one away here in the bottom half of the first inning. And Jacob Robinson coming to the plate. And like Tarquinio, Robinson has been very impressive so far this season with a 385 average. Four home runs and 20 RBIs for Robinson. Robinson hitting from the left side against the lefty Tate Musco. Musco's pitch misses low and outside. Again, hops away from Hunter Smiley, but Weber not going to try to chance it coming down the third base line there. They count 1-0 and now to Robinson. So Montour, and good early opportunity to score the game's first run here in the bottom half of the first inning. As Robinson will try to put one in play here with one out. And Weber down at third. Musco again from the stretch. 1-0 pitch here to Robinson. He'll hit it on the ground here to short. Grego charging. Make the throw over to first in time to Luke Gresh to retire Robinson 6-3. But Weber able to score on the play, and Montour taking a one to nothing lead now over Uniontown with two outs in the bottom half of the first inning for Robinson. That's his 21st RBI of the season. Now Andrew Porto coming to the plate, the junior left fielder batting 250. He's driven in 11 runs so far this season. Moscow's first pitcher to Porto, breaking ball in there for a strike 0 and 1. Now we'll go into the books as an earned run, only the second earned run that Musco has given up all season. 0-1 pitch on the way to the breaking ball, swing and a miss from Porto, and the junior left fielder suddenly behind 0-2. Base is now empty with two outs here in the inning. Musco looking for his first strikeout of the afternoon. Now time called here by Porto as he'll step out. Now Porto back into the batter's box. Musco's 0-2 to Andrew Porto, and Porto swinging a miss, hopped away from Smiley, hope to make a throw down to first, record the strikeout. He does, and that'll end the inning. So Montour gets a run here in the bottom half of the first inning after one. It's Montour one. Union sound nothing here on the CR Parada Group. High School Sports Day. Bad hair day, bad day at the office. Bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Frowles Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Hi, I'm Russ Playho. As your local all state agent providing protection that fits your life is something i take well personally i'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them from bundling your auto home and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs i can build an insurance proposal that fits your life are you in good hands contact me russ blaho for a free quote subject to terms conditions and availability savings vary the Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Wyatt Nails, Austin Grego, and Gary Smitley do up for Uniontown here in the top half of the second inning. Hitters 4, 5, and 6. Uniontown down by a score of 1 to nothing to the 
Montour Spartans. Montour getting their run in the bottom half of the first inning. And Jacob Robinson, RBI, driving in Mateo Weber for the game's first run. Mentioned the winner here will play 5th seeded Greater Latrobe or 12th seeded Hope while those two schools meeting at Plum High School at 4 o'clock today. Also on that side of the bracket, 8th seeded Central Valley taking on ninth seeded Indiana under the lights at North Allegheny at 7 o'clock tonight. Top seeded Bell Vernon meeting 16th seeded Blackhawk at the Boyce Mayview Complex in Upper St. Clair. Pass along the other side of the bracket in just a moment as Wyatt Nail steps in. Senior third baseman batting 267 nails, three home runs, and 15 RBIs so far this season for Union Tech. His bat certainly packs a punch. He'll swing at the first pitch here and hit it on the ground on the left side. Throw over to first in time, and it was close as it was sent over from Michael Ivanhoff over to Jason George, but in time to retire nails for the first down to this top half of the second inning. And that'll bring up Austin Grego, the senior shortstop batting 324. He's driven in four runs so far this season. Don't be surprised if you see Grego possibly on the mound later on in this game in relief of Tate Musco if needed. The Red Raiders hope Tate could go the whole way, but Austin would certainly be the number two option pitching for Uniontown later on today. A little delay here is... Grego gets buckled up. And Weber getting sent to deliver the first pitch as Grego gets into the batter's box. Sun's still out for now here at the Peterswood Park Complex. First pitch here to Grego. Breaking ball from Weber. Catches the outside corner for a strike. And Austin behind 0-1-1. Uniontown looking for their first base runner of the afternoon. Uniontown played 15 regular season games, 6-9 overall record, 5-5 five five out of Section 2-4A play. Ended up in a third-place tie in the conference with a Ringgold Rams. Ringgold also 5-5 five five overall. They're 8-11. Check that there, 5-5 five five in the conference, 8-11 overall. 0-1 pitch here to Grego, fouled off. Takes the count to 0-2. Montour champions of Section 1 and 4A. Their only conference loss came in their final conference series against Central Valley. Ended up 13-6 and six overall, 9-1 and one in the conference. Central Valley finished in second place in the conference, a 10-7 and seven overall, 7-3 seven and three in the conference. Hopewell and Blackhawk also in the playoffs with conference records of 4-6. and six. And now Grego swings and pops up the 0-2 pitch down the right field line. And the catch will be made there by the... First baseman Jason George for the second out of the inning. So two up, two down for Uniontown here in the top of the second. And that will bring up Gary Smitley, the designated hitter, hitter for the Uniontown Red Raiders. Smitley batting 231, solo RBI so far this season for Smitley. And Uniontown looking for their first playoff win since 1983. It's their third straight trip to the WPI playoffs. Lost two years ago in a close game against the knock Knights over at Norwin High School and then fell to Montour by a score of 3-2 to two. a season ago down at Washington and Jefferson. Smitley swinging at the first pitch, line drive in a right field. The catch made there by Jonathan Cecil for the third out of the inning. So the Red Raiders retired 1-2-3 here in the top of the second. Moved to the bottom of the second with the Spartans leading the Red Raiders 1-0 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. Brewston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brewstonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. At the Davidson Davis 
Williams Law Firm, we understand that facing legal challenges can be overwhelming. That's why we are here to guide you along the way. This is attorney Michael Mays, and at Davis & Davis Law Firm, we have over 45 years of experience, and our team is dedicated to fighting for your rights and making sure you can maximize the amount of money that you deserve. If you are hurt, injured, or need help with workers' compensation, call us today for your free consultation at 724-437-2799. The Davis & Davis Law Firm, you won't pay us anything until we win your case. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Hitters 5, 6, and 7, 2 up for Montour here in the bottom half of the second inning. Jonathan Cecil to get things started. He'll take the first pitch for a ball from Tate Musco. Cecil, the senior right fielder, batting 298. He's driven in eight runs so far this season for the Montour Spartans. 1-0 pitch on the way, low and outside again. Good block there from the catcher, Hunter Smiley. Again, Jonathan Cecil, Jason George, and Michael Ivanhoff do up for the Spartans. Here in the bottom of the second. Now Musco's 2-0 here to Cecil. It was a fastball and just missed. Looked like it's pretty close to a strike, but the home plate umpire Frank Kingerski saw things a little bit differently. Now the count 3-0 from Musco to Cecil. And 3-0 pitch hits Cecil in the back. Wow. So Cecil down to first base. And for the second straight inning, Montour starts off the frame with a base runner as Mateo Weber walked back in the bottom of the first inning, ended up scoring the game's lone run so far after he was driven in by Jacob Robinson. And now Jason George coming to the plate. Senior first baseman batting 262, has homered once and driven in nine runs so far this season for the Montour Spartans. So Uniontown trying not to Dig themselves a hole. Here in the bottom of the second, already down a run. And now George in the batter's box. Righty batter against the lefty pitcher, Tate Musco. And Musco throw over to first, head first, slide back safely there from Cecil. Now Musco, the baseball back in his hand. Waiting for the first pitch here to Jason George as, again, he looks over at Cecil, makes another throw in that direction, and Cecil back over safely after Montour down Uniontown in the first round of the playoffs the last year. They ended up knocking off Hampton in the quarterfinals before losing to Greater Latrobe by a score of 10-7 to in the semifinals. Now let's see if Musco delivers here to George. He will not. Another throw over to first. Three straight throws over to first, just making sure Jason, check that Jonathan Cecil is back on the bag. The Spartans got themselves into the state playoffs with a win over Indiana, Washington, and Jefferson, but then lost their first state round playoff game to Erie Cathedral Prep at Mercyhurst by a score of 6-5 to five last year. Now the first pitch there to Jason George is high and inside for ball one, so it's five straight balls thrown by Tate Musco to start this bottom half of the second inning. Must go again. Clean look over at first. 1-0 pitch now on the way. Finds the strike zone there. It even has the count at 1-1 one one to Jason George. We mentioned this Montour team. Really a regular in the WPIL playoffs. They played for WPIL championship two years ago. Lost to West Mifflin by a score of 5-4 in the title game. Ended up picking up a state playoff win over Belfont as well back in 2022. And here's a chopper on the right side. Could be a close play over at first and no play made there from Mason Kuna. Just try to glove it over to Luke Gresh with a slow roller on the infield grass. We'll give George an infield single and now two on with nobody out. Here in the bottom of the second inning, Montour already up one to nothing, looking for more with Michael Ivanhoff coming to the plate. Ivanhoff, the sophomore third baseman, batting 298 with 13 RBIs. 
Another lefty versus lefty matchup. Musco glance back again at second. Now Ivanhoff showing bunt. And they're gonna say it's a live ball, throw down to third. I got a roll. Cecil safe at third, and also getting into second there was Jason George. The count 0 1. So they're going to say no contact was ever made there from Ivanhoff. Was not fouled off. Just ruled a strike. So it was a live ball. And the runner is able to advance. Now, two in scoring position. Nobody out. An 0 1 count here on Michael Ivanhoff. Musco's pitch here outside. Now you have to count at 1 and 1. So the Red Raiders in a bit of trouble here again in the bottom of the second inning. Already down by a score of 1 to nothing. And Montour looking for more with two on and nobody out. 1-1 one, one count to Michael Ivanhoff. Pitch from Musco. It's a fastball, misses high. Count now moves to 2-1. and one. A good spot here for Ivanhoff. Already 13 RBIs for the sophomore third baseman so far this year. Chokes up on the bat. Infield in here for Union Sound as well. Musco taking his time. 2-1 count here to Ivanhoff. And a breaking ball catches the outside corner for a strike. Count now even at 2-2. Two and two. More likely than not, if Ivanhoff's able to put one here in play on the ground, the Spartans could extend their lead. Don't be surprised if Uniontown tries to come home with the infield in. 2-2 pitch here from Musco, another breaking ball. Missed high, count now full of three and two. Mentioned Musco came into the game 69 strikeouts to 16 walks. Did strike out Andrew Porto to end the first, but gave up a leadoff walk to Mateo Weber in that bottom half of the first inning. Also hit Jonathan Cecil here to start the second. 3-2 pitch now to Michael Ivanhoff. Musco a fastball, and Ivanhoff pops it up. In foul territory, no play on it for Uniontown defensively. So the count remains three and two. Not much wind. The wind that there is just slightly blowing from right to left. Not really affecting the game at all. Here we go again, three and two. Must go to Ivanhoff. And Tate's pitch on the way, another fastball. This one hit high in the air down the left field line in foul territory over the fence and out of play. So we'll do three and two here once again. You mentioned it's been since 1983 that Uniontown qualified for the WPIL playoffs. Back in 1983, Laverne and Shirley was still on the air. Their season and series finale aired on May the 10th of 1983. U.S. performing nuclear tests in Nevada. Reggie Jackson, the first major leaguer to strike out 2,000 times in his career. That occurred back in 1983. Now the payoff pitch here to Ivanhoff. A ball missing outside to load up the bases. So still nobody else. Montour runs scored in the bottom of the first inning. But they have the bases loaded here in the second inning. And now Zach Shimako coming to the plate. Sophomore center fielder batting 379. And the whole infield coming in here for a little meet and greet as the Red Raiders talk strategy. And we mentioned how long ago the last playoff win was. Well, the New York Islanders won their fourth straight Stanley Cup, defeating the Edmonton Oilers in four games. And also, if you were a fan of movies, Return of the Jedi was first released just back in 1983, produced by George Lucas. The Philadelphia 76ers swept the L.A. Lakers in four games. The gas man, Tom Sneva, won his first Indy 500 back in May of 1983. And if you're a fan of music, the number one song, Every Breath You Take by the Police, was the Billboard Song of the Year in 1983. It was released on May 20th of 1983, so it's been that long, 41 years since Uniontown has won a WPIL playoff game, and they're going to have to 
Trying to get things turned around here. They're down one to nothing, but Montour the bases loaded and nobody out here in the bottom half of the second with Zach Shamako coming to the plates. Tate Musco now stepping off. And the Montour dugout into this one as well. As the Spartans looking for a big inning. Looking for a little cushion. And we're still very early on in this contest. First pitch here to Shamako fouled off. Counted 0-1, and, and as our colleague Nick Barczak would say, the Spartans looking to put up a crooked number here in the bottom half of the second. And now Shamako batting 379 with four RBIs behind 0-1 here against Tate Musco. That Marucci bat looking for a big rip here. Musco's 0-1, breaking ball right down the pipe for a strike, and he's had 0-2. Again, the strikeouts have been Musco's friend so far this season. Now 70 strikeouts to 18 walks so far this season. And boy, would he love one here with the Red Raiders in a big-time jam. Spartans with the bases loaded. And Musco, an 0-2 now to Shamako. It's a fastball missing outside. Count out one and two to kind of get a sense there that Musco was just hoping Shimako would chase one there. Is that one well off the plate? And Shimako having to protect the plate now with two strikes on him. Musco now the one two to Zach Shimako. It's another fastball and Shimako off the inside of the bat popping it up. Infield fly rule in effect as the second baseman Mason Kuhn makes the grab for the first out of the inning. And Jason Peremba now will come to the plate. Fifth smart in a bat here in the bottom of the second, batting from the number nine position. Senior second baseman, batting 244. Just a solo RBI so far this season, of course, behind Peremba. The top of the order for the Spartans. Union Town looking to get out of a big-time jam here in the bottom of the second. Musco's first pitch here to Paremba, breaking ball, missing for ball one. Inning started with Jonathan Cecil getting hit by a pitch. Jason George, an infield single. Mike and Michael Ivanhoff a walk, and then Zach Shamako popping up. Musco a deep breath. Ready with a 1-0 here to Jason Paremba. Pitch on the way. Catches the outside corner for a strike to even up the count at one and one. Now on the other side of the 4A bracket, second seeded Thomas Jefferson taking on 15 seeded Ringo. That game underway in Upper St. Clair at the Boyce Mayview Complex started at 2 o'clock this afternoon. TJ's looked awfully strong. I was actually surprised Bell Vernon got the number one seed in 4A over the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Another strike thrown there from Tate Musco as the count moves to one and two now to Jason Paremba. Seventh seeded Char Valley will take on 10th seeded Kiski area at North Allegheny. That game starting at 4.30 this afternoon. Count now one and two, Musco to Paremba. As Musco looking for a second strikeout of the afternoon. One, two pitch on the way, and that one inside close to clipping Paremba. Moves the count to two and two. Third seeded West Mifflin. Also under the lights at Plum tonight, taking on 14-seeded Knock. And again, the game being played here later on today at Peterswood Park, 6-seeded North Catholic, taking on 11-seeded Elizabeth Ford. Scheduled to get underway at 4.30 this afternoon if this game concludes on time. Now the 2-2, Musco to Paremba. And Paremba swing and a miss, strike three. So Uniontown coming through with two big outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Shamako popping up, and now Paremba striking out. And now it's back to the top of the order. Mateo Weber, who walked and scored the game's lone run back in the bottom of the first, batting here for the left side against the lefty Tate Mosca. So big spot here for both the Spartans and the Red Raiders. Bases still loaded. First pitch to Weber, swing and a miss, strike one. Montour loaded the bases with nobody out. And now two outs here in the inning. Weber at the plate. And Uniontown 
looking for a big out to stay within one of Montour after two. Moscow's 0-1 pitch here to Weber. Fastball misses low and outside, evens up the count at one and one. Jonathan Cecil down at third, Jason George at second, and Michael Ivanhoff at first. Your base runners for the Montour Spartans. Understand we lost our radio feed. We'll try to get back on the radio side in just a moment. 1-1 one, one pitch here. This is low and outside. Takes the count to 2-1. and one. Now we'll get reconnected with our radio audience. Again, the count two and one. Yes. The count two and one here from Musco to Mateo Brian. Weber. We're on the air here, Brian. Doreen. We's on the air here, Doreen. Two and no, one's the count. Pitch misses outside, and that one's going to hop away from Hunter Smiley. Close play at home plate, and out at home is Jonathan Cecil to end the inning. So a huge defensive play there from Hunter Smiley. And the out recorded at home, and Uniontown getting out of the bottom half of the second inning with no damage being done. So we'll move now to the top of the third. Still one to nothing, Montour over Uniontown here in the CR Parada Group High School Sports Day. WMBS. We're live on the video feed. That's why I said to please put me on hold and put back on the air because we're still live for the video audience. He's been putting you on, but you haven't been on for about 10 minutes. I, please put me on hold so we can go back on. Okay. And home improvement loans. With offices in Fayette, Green, and Washington counties, your loan stays here. Visit a First Federal Loan Officer today or apply online at ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 458-729. On the go. Good afternoon, WMS Radio. It's me again. Can you please try to figure out what's going on? I mean, I've tried I to do I just called Bill down to help him. All right, thanks. They're trying. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, Brian. 7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. That sounds good. Audiology. Welcome back to the boys, or check that, welcome back to Peterswood Park. You folks on the radio side understand you lost our feed there in the bottom of the second inning. Montour actually loaded the bases, came up empty. Jonathan Cecil let off the inning. He was hit by a pitch. Michael Ivanhoff was able to walk after Jason George had an infield single, but Zach Shimako popped up. Jason Paremba struck out, and then a ball hopped away from Uniontown catcher Hunter Smiley, and Smiley able to make the tag at home on Jonathan Cecil to end the inning. So after the Spartans loaded the bases with nobody out, ended up coming up empty, and this game still one to nothing, Montour over Uniontown. As we head to the top of the third, it's Braden Hinsey, Tyler Gasper, and Hunter Smiley due up here for Uniontown. Hinsey, the Freshman, a left fielder, coming into the game with a 2.12 average and three RBIs. You need to looking for their first base runner of the afternoon. Hitter seven, eight, and nine. Due up here for Uniontown. Weber 0-1 to Hinsey, high and outside, even up the count at one and one. And we talked about all the things earlier that happened back in. 1983, our colleague Billy Dice told us he was born back in 1983. So yes, it's been that long since Uniontown has won a playoff game, but they're still within one right now. Count now two and one. From Weber to Braden Hinsey.
Weber entered the game with a 4 and 1 record. 1.71 ERA. 2 1 here to Henze, and Henze a line drive in the gap in left center field. So the freshman coming up big again. Porto with a relay coming in. It's a leadoff single for Braden Henze to start this top half of the third for the Uniontown Red Raiders. And that'll bring up Tyler Gasper, the senior right fielder, batting 143 with three RBIs. Hinsey taking his time over at first. Again, a little direction looking across to head coach Kenny Musco. Now Tyler Gasper stepping in. So Hinsey, the first base runner of the afternoon for Uniontown. And Gasper showing bunt, pulls back. Now Hinsey off the bag at first, able to slide back there safely. Almost got himself trapped there between first and second. Count now 1-0. To Tyler Gasper. Weber clean look over at first. Gasper again showing bunt. That one hopping away from the catcher. Ryan Gamble is able to regain. Throw down to second, not in time. And Braden Hinsey reaching second safely. So Hinsey moves in a scoring position, representing the game tying run. And the count now 2-0 and oh from Weber to Tyler Gasper. Gasper looking down to Kenny Musco for some signs. Gasper hitting in the eighth position in the Red Raider batting lineup. Weber another glance back at second. Gasper showing bunts. Came up empty that time. Did square away, so the pitch in there for a strike. Takes the count to two and one. Now Gasper set to go again. Weber glanced back at Hinsey over at second. Gasper squaring away to Bunt. Pitch missed outside. Hinsey on his way to third. And the throw there in time and Hinsey out at third. Surprised to see Hinsey running there, trying to steal third. The Red Raiders had a runner in scoring position with nobody out. And a risky move there from Hinsey running down to third as Gasper came up empty with no contact. And the count now three and one. You wonder why Hinsey would run in that situation. And now the count three and one. Here to Tyler Gasper, and that pitch outside, but a late called strike from home plate umpire Frank Kingerski. That'll make the count full three and two, and Gasper is halfway down to first. Weber looking for his first strikeout of the afternoon. Now the payoff pitch here to Gasper, and Gasper staying alive, fouling it off. The count still three into one out as Braden Hinsey was kind of tempting to steal third after he led off the inning with a single to left. A 3-2 pitch on the way, swinging a miss strike three. So Weber records his first strike out of the afternoon. And after what looked like a promising start here in the top half of the third inning for Uniontown, now have two outs recorded. And Hunter Smiley coming to the plate. Smiley had a late season home run against Laurel Highlands in the Red Raiders final conference series at Bailey Park. Swings the first pitch here, line drive into left, charging, sliding, and getting is Andrew Porto for the third out of the inning. So Uniontown started off the top half of the third with a single from Braden Hinsey. He was caught stealing. Tyler Gasper goes down, Swinging at strike three, and Hunter Smiley fouling, flying out to Andrew Porto in the left, and Uniontown comes up empty here in the top half of the third. So go to the bottom of the third, one to nothing, Montour over Uniontown here in the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. The C. Harper on 
Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment, and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Casey Sports Cafe, located at 243 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown and owned by the Vernon family, wants you to know they have new evening hours. And those new hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the weekends. Come to Casey's Sports Cafe and check out their new menu ideas and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Call 724-550-4126. Contact attorney Dan White at Tremba, Kinney, Griner, and Kerr, a full-service law firm which can assist you with all of your legal needs. With an office located on Morrell Avenue in Connellsville, the team at Tremba, Kinney, Griner, and Kerr prides itself on its ability to professionally and aggressively address your legal matters, meeting with you as soon as possible, and returning your telephone calls in a prompt fashion. Contact Dan White at Tremba, Kinney, Griner, and Kerr, 724-628-7955. Back here at Peterswood Park in Peters Township, moving now to the bottom half of the third inning and the top of the order due up here for the Montour Spartans. Mateo Weber was actually up in the bottom of the second inning when Michael Ivanhoff attempted to go home after a pass ball that got past the Uniontown catcher Hunter Smiley, but Smiley able to Tag out Jonathan Cecil to end the inning. So Weber up again here to lead off the bottom half of the third and took ball one there from Tate Musco. What a jam the Red Raiders got out of in the bottom of the second inning after Jonathan Cecil was hit by a pitch. Jason George, an infield single. Mike and Michael Ivanhoff walked. So you had the bases loaded, nobody out. Zach Shamako popped up to second base. Jason Paremba struck out, and then the aforementioned pass ball where Jonathan Cecil was tagged out at home by Hunter Smiley to end the inning. So Uniontown lucky right now to have this scored only one to nothing in favor of Montour. Now a 1-1 count here on Mateo Weber and the pitch from Musco. A little bit high to take the count to 2-1. Weber walked and scored the game's lone run back in the bottom of the first inning. Also stole a base, came into the game with a 367 average and 11 RBIs. 2-1 count now, Musco to Weber. And Musco will wind and fire. Check swing there from Weber, ruling as he did not go around. And the count now at 3-1, they're going to appeal. And the third base umpire, Jeffrey Ostrid, says again he did not go. So reaffirms the call of ball by Frank Kingerski. So the count remains at 3-1, and one. and now time called here by Mateo Weber. So Weber, after a little pause now, will step back in. Another lefty versus lefty matchup. Musco's 3-1 pitch on the way. Breaking ball, and that's ball four. So for the third straight inning, the Spartans start off the inning with a base runner. Weber walking for the second time in this game. Walked back in the first. And Jonathan Cecil was hit by a pitch to lead off the bottom half of the second. Now Maddox Tarquinio will step in. Tarquinio with a fly ball out that actually advanced Weber from second down to third back in the first inning. And now Kenny must go out along with catcher Hunter Smiley to talk to Tate Musco here. As the Red Raiders down one to nothing again trying to limit the damage. Here in the bottom half of the third inning, and the winner to take on either 5th seeded Greater Latrobe or 12th seeded Hopewell. That game will be played on Monday in Greater Latrobe and Hopewell meeting at Plum High School this afternoon. Now Frank Kingerski, the home plate umpire, coming out to break up the meeting on the mound, and you wonder if maybe some concern here with Musco. And again, he got dinged up late in the season a couple of times. And they're going to say there's actually an injury check on the mound, not a normal visit. So an injury check in that situation on Tate. Not sure if it's maybe an issue gripping the ball right now. 
what the situation is. But again, Tate was dinged up both in the Greater Latrobe series and also the Laurel Highlands series late in the year. I wonder if those are still some lingering effects. And now Tarquinio popping this one up on the right side. It'll be the second baseman, Mason Kuhn, making the grab for the first down of this bottom half of the third inning. And that'll bring up Jacob Robinson with Weber still at first. Robinson picked up his 21st RBI of the season with a ground ball that scored Weber back in the first inning. Robinson, another lefty, going up against the lefty Tate Musco. Tate, another clean look over at first. Delivers the first pitch here, which misses outside to Robinson for ball one. Mentioned Robinson coming into the game with a 385 average. Now four home runs and 21 RBIs for the senior designated hitter. Must go with a throw over to first and back safely there again is Weber. Weber does have good speed. I'll watch and see if he tries to move in a scoring position here with one out in the bottom of the third. Lead only at one for the Spartans. And the 1-0 pitch misses low now as the count now moves to 2-0 from Musco to Robinson. You have Wyatt Nails playing in at third right now for Uniontown. Luke Gresh on the bag at first. Count 2-0. We'll see how aggressive Weber gets here on the base pass. 2-0 pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. 2-1 now to Jacob Robinson. And you wouldn't expect a bunt from Robinson just considering the fact of how well he's hit the ball so far this season. The 385 average. Count now 2-1. and one. We understand uh, lost the radio feed for some reason again, so we connect on the radio side. Count three and one to Jacob Robinson from Tate Musco. Pitch on the way. This ball grounded here to second. Charging in. A little flip there from Mason Kuhn in time to Luke Gresh. That will retire Robinson for the second out of the inning. Advancing down to second is Weber. So it goes 4-3 on the outs. Weber now down to second. Again, for you folks on the radio side, not sure why we've lost your feed a number of times so far this afternoon. Apologize for that. We do have a constant feed of our broadcast up on the WMBS Facebook page as well. If you'd like to watch this afternoon, be folks on the radio side that might have missed some of the action here to start the third inning. Mateo Weber walk. Maddox Tarquinio with a little pop-up to second baseman Mason Kuhn, and then Jacob Robinson grounding out 4-3. Weber now in scoring position at second base. Andrew Porto at the plate. He struck out in the first inning. And now he'll step out. Must go a glance back at second. And the first pitch to Porto, swing it a miss, strike one. And Porto came into the game at 250 average, had driven in 11 runs so far this season. Red Raiders again trying to get out of a jam here in the third. Must get another glance back at second. Now make a throw in that direction, actually threw it off of Mateo Weber, and Weber, of course, pitching on the Montour side, catching him there right in the chest on the throwback. Certainly had a sting in that situation. They do have the option now with Weber being the pitcher, bringing out a courtesy runner in this situation. They're going to do just that and give Weber an opportunity to 
recompose himself before the top half of the fourth inning. And they'll bring out courtesy runner here, number eight. That is Xander Stern. So Stern to run for Weber. Here in the bottom half of the third. Andrew Porto still at the plate. Count 0 and 1. Musco still taking his time. Now the 0 1 pitch to Porto. Breaking ball misses high. Evens up the count at 1 and 1. Ringgold actually had an early 2 1 lead. And their game over Thomas Jefferson this afternoon. That would be a surprise. TJ came back, tied it at 2 at the end of the third. Try to get a score update for you on that contest as they're under the fourth inning to see who's in the lead. Understands now 3 to 2. Just trying to get a confirmation on who's in the lead at 3 to 2. Count here 2 and 1. From Tate Musco to. Andrew Porto with two outs and the courtesy runner Xander Stern over at second base. Thomas Jefferson now up 3-2 over Ringgold. Did get a confirmation there, bottom of the fourth inning. And Porto, a swing and a foul tip. Take the count to 2-2. Two and two. And Brian Morozak along with you. We're in the bottom of the third inning here. Montour leading Uniontown one to nothing. Matt Sappy ends behind the camera. TJ DeStefano back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Musco, another glance back at Stern at second. 2 2 pitch on the way, and Porto, high fly ball here in a shallow right. It'll actually be the second baseman, Mason Kuhn, making the grab for the third out of the inning. So Montour stranding the courtesy runner, Stern, will head to the Top of the fourth, still 1-0. Spartans over the Red Raiders in the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potters on Facebook. We'll see you at Potters. Welcome to Allstate, where saving on your auto insurance is kind of like a joy ride. You, your car, and an open road. Maybe your best friend, too. The music is chill, and so is the traffic. All safe. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands at All State. In Uniontown, call All State agent Russ Blayho at 724-439-9700. Or stop in Russ's office on Lebanon Avenue. All State and affiliates offer products and services subject to availability from and conditions. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat Treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Top of the order for the Uniontown Red Raiders here to start the top half of the fourth inning. Mason Kuhn, Tate Musco, and Cam Jackson. Just one base runner for Uniontown so far. That was Braden Hinsey who led off the... Top of the third inning with a single to left field. Actually stole a base at second before he was caught stealing third. The Red Raiders came up empty in the bottom of the third. Tyler Gasper a strikeout, and then Hunter Smiley flying out to Andrew Porto out in the left. So the Red Raiders try to get things going here again in the top of the fourth inning with Mason Kuhn, who popped up to second baseman Jason Paremba to lead off the game in the top of the first. Kuhn, Musco, and Jackson here in the top of the fourth for Union Town. And Mateo Weber, who caught that ball in the chest in the bottom of the third inning, seems all right. Still on the hill for the Spartans in the top of the fourth and finds a strike zone on the first pitch to Mason Kuhn, who's behind 0-1. Weber got the signs there from the catcher Ryan Gamble. 
A one pitch now on the way. Missed there to even up the count at one and one. From Weber to Kuhn. And Mason Kuhn, the Red Raiders senior second baseman. His father, J.C., a longtime boxer in the Uniontown community. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way outside there from Weber to Kuhn. Takes the count to 2-1. Yeah, the winner will have a couple of days off until their quarterfinal round game coming up on Monday. And the WPIL planning to play the quarterfinals and the semifinals on back-to-back -back days Monday and Tuesday. 2-1 pitch here. Look out, Kuhn a rip into left field. And this one is going to clear the wall. It's gone. A home run from Mason Kuhn. His first of the season ties this game up at one. What a start for Uniontown here in the top of the fourth. Mason Kuhn, a playoff home run over the left field wall. And this game is all evened up. And now Tate Musco will come to the plates. Musco, the senior pitcher for Union Sound. Entering the game with a 356 average. Three home runs and 10 RBIs. So solo shot for Mason Kuhn. Second hit of the afternoon for Uniontown. Tying this game up at one. Musco a check swing there. Rudy went around. And they counted 0-1. That'll get the Uniontown dugout and the Uniontown crowd into this one. The game now tied at one. 0-1 oh, one pitch here to Musco. This one hit high in the air to center field. Zach Shimako getting under it and making the catch for the first out of the inning. Now batting number 24, center fielder. So the Red Raiders Jackson. with themselves back into this game, tied at one here in the top of the fourth. And now Cam Jackson coming to the plates. Senior center fielder batting 225. Grounded out 6-3. Then the first inning. He'll take the first pitch here, a breaking ball for strike one from Mateo Weber. You look back at this game so far, Montour certainly the better of the scoring opportunities. Got one across in the first as Jacob Robinson drove in Mateo Weber. And now Jackson showing bunt, lays one down, goes right back to Weber, who turns, throws, and gets Jackson for the second out of the inning. But that second inning, so big for the Spartans, they had the bases loaded and nobody out, but came up empty after Shimako popped up. Paremba struck out, and then Jonathan Cecil, Trying to head for home after a pass ball from third, and Hunter Smiley making the tag out to end the inning. And the Spartans came up empty, and the Uniontown Red Raiders defensively came away with no additional damage being done. Now after a Mason Kuhn solo home run here to start the top half of the fourth inning, the Red Raiders have tied this game up at one. But the base is now empty for Wyatt Nails, who has three home runs so far on the season. 15 RBIs, takes that one inside after the first pitch missed as well on the count now at 2-0 from Weber to Nails. Nails entered the game with a 267 average. He's certainly been consistent at the plate for Uniontown all season long. Weber's 2-0 here to Nails, that one high and outside. Takes the count to 3-0. Now Nails will regroup outside the batter's box, likely taken all the way here with a count of 3-0. Pitch on the way, actually misses for ball four. So Uniontown, another base runner. And you wonder in this situation, might they consider a pinch runner here for Nails? Just for a little more speed. Now Austin Grego will come over and Talk to head coach Kenny Musco down the third baseline. Grego, the fifth Red Raider to bat here on the top of the fourth. Uniontown has tied this game at one. And now Grego back in the batter's box, batting 324 with four RBIs. Popped up to first baseman Jason George back in the second inning. 
Weber out of the stretch. First pitch here to Grego. Low for ball one. And we're here in the top of the fourth. Union Town and Montour tied at one. Second straight year these two schools have met in the WPIL playoffs. Spartans knocked off the Red Raiders 3-2 last year. Down at Washington and Jefferson. 1-0 pitch here to Grego. Popped up in foul territory on the right side and out of play. Even up the count at 1-1. One one. Again, in the WPIL playoffs, the pitch limit upped for pitchers from 100 to 105. And, of course, like the regular season, they can finish pitching to the batter they're currently facing before they have to be removed after hitting the pitch limit. 1-1 one, one pitch now on the way. Misses outside there to Grego. Count moves to 2-1. and one. It's something we might see coming to play here in the later innings. Grego, who's at the plate, would likely be the relief pitcher in mind for Musco. Weber now the 2-1 here to Grego. This one popped up. It'll be Jason Peremba, the second baseman, getting under it and making the catch to end the inning. But Uniontown getting a run back. Solo home run for Mason Kuhn has tied this game at one. As we move to the bottom of the fourth here in the CR Parada Group High School Sports Day. Spring forward to home construction season with First Federal of Greene County. First Federal's construction and improvement loans put you in charge of your dream home project with all of the tools you need. First Federal offers construction loans, owner-builder loans, and home improvement loans. With offices in Fayette, Greene, and Washington counties, your loan stays here. Visit a First Federal loan officer today or apply online at ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, and MLS number 458. Donald M. Miller Incorporated has been providing quality service to Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, and Ohio since 1945. Their workforce is trained in all aspects of roofing installation, including asphalt shingles, standing seam metal, slate copper, and EPDM roofing. They also do gutter and other specialty metal installations. They do both residential and commercial projects of any size. Feel free to call their office at 724-438-8071 and speak with Donnie or Doug Miller about your roof project. For Farm Fresh Dairy products, stop in Jackson Farms Dairy Store, Route 40 at Briar Hill. Enjoy delicious hot deli items available Monday through Friday, eat in or take out. Jackson Farms Dairy Store features quality dairy products, the most delectable homemade ice cream you will ever eat, and now available at Jackson Farms is their own farmhouse cheddar cheese and cheese curds. Why not stop in Jackson Farms today? Farm Fresh Milk, straight off the farm. Jackson Farms. Jonathan Cecil leading off the bottom half of the fourth inning for the Montour Spartans, taking the first pitch high and in tight from Tate Musco. And Cecil, Jason George, and Michael Ivanhoff, hitters 5, 6, and 7, do up for the Spartans here in the bottom of the fourth game. Tied at 1, Uniontown and Montour, the 1-0 pitch from Musco. Fastball down the pipe for a strike. Evens up the count at 1-1. One one. Again, the Spartans struck first back in the bottom of the first inning. RBI from Jacob Robinson driving in Mateo Weber. Well, in Uniontown run, solo home run for Mason Kuhn in the top of the fourth. A 1-1 pitch called strike there on the outside corner. Takes the count to 1-2 and two to Jonathan Cecil, who's hit by a pitch in his first at-bat in the bottom of the second inning. Senior right fielder came into the game with a 298 average and eight RBIs behind 1-2 and two here against Tate Musco. Musco's 1-2 pitch, breaking ball. Missed off the plate. Takes the count to 2-2. Two two. Sun back outs here at Peterswood Park. In the low 70s, temperature-wise. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Strike three for Tate Musco. Just his second strikeout of the afternoon, but sends down Jonathan Cecil to record the first out of this bottom half of the fourth inning. And now Jason George coming to the plate. George an infield single last time up. And check that that was the third strike out of the afternoon for Tate Musco, who finds the strike zone again here on the first pitch from Jason George. Musco sent down Andrew Porto to end the first inning and then struck out Jason Peremba to end the second. And now the strikeout on Cecil here, the first out recorded in the bottom of the fourth. 0-1 pitch here, swing and a miss from Jason George. He's behind 0-2. And George, by the way, produced the only 
hit of the afternoon on the Montour Sun. Infield single back in the second inning. Now the 0-2 on the way, off the plate. Takes the count to 1-2. and two. Montour's had some base runners. Weber walked back in the first inning. Cecil hit by a pitch, and Ivanhoff also on via a walk in the second, and Weber walked again to start the third. 1-2 pitch here, fouled back by Jason George. Count remains 1-2. and two. And if you're just joining us, the Spartans had the bases loaded at the bottom of the second inning with nobody out, came up empty, had a great opportunity to extend their lead, was at one to nothing at that point. But unable to do that in the second inning. And now Uniontown rallying back with the solo home run from Mason Kuhn. Has this game tied up at one as we work here with one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. One-two pitch here on the way, breaking ball dismissed time. Takes the count now to two and two from Tate Musco to Jason George. Thomas Jefferson extending their lead now to five to two over Ringgold. That game in the top of the fifth as George fouls off another pitch here on the right side and out of play. The count remains two and two. George entered the game with a 262 average. Does have a home run and nine RBIs so far this season. Moscow shaking off one sign. Now set to go with the 2-2 here to George. Fastball misses inside, and now we're full at 3-2. Moscow to Jason George with Michael Ivanhoff due up next for the Spartans. Their fans and dugout trying to get back into this game. Counting out full of 3-2. Musco winds and fires here. A fastball again fouled off by Jason George. Count remains 4-3 and 2. So George making Musco throw some pitches here in the bottom of the fourth. Here we go again. Another 3-2 pitch. Musco a little hesitation now delivers. Check swing foul there on the right side. That was a hummer into the woods. Again, we've talked about, at times, the awkward delivery from Musco with that little pause he sometimes shows midway through the delivery. We saw in that last pitch, now another 3-2 this time coming around square and finding the strike zone with a punch out of Jason George on the 3-2 pitch. So back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the bottom of the fourth for Tate Musco sending down Jonathan Cecil and Jason George and now two away with Michael Ivanhoff coming to the plate. Ivanhoff, the sophomore third baseman, walked in his lone plate appearance so far back in the second inning. Came into the game with a 298 average and 13 RBIs. Batting from the left side here against the lefty Tate Musco. First pitch here. Fastball misses low for ball one to Ivanhoff. I mentioned the close calls for Uniontown on the Playoffs the last couple of years, two years ago, 1-1-1 one, one, one run loss to knock over at Norwin High School. Now the 1-0 pitch here, breaking ball called strike, evens up the count at 1-1 one one to Ivanhoff. And last year met this same Montour Spartans team and fell by a score of 3-2 at Washington and Jefferson. Red Raiders looking for their first playoff win in 41 years. A little check swing here. Hop past the glove of Musco. Scooped up by the second baseman, Kuhn. Throw over to first not in time. Think you have to rule that one another infield single. This time from Ivanhoff. Couldn't really fault Musco. Just a tough play. Trying to lean back off to his left. And Kuhn kind of caught in the hole there at second. You know, Zach Shimako coming to the plate. Sophomore center fielder popped up to Mason Kuhn. His lone plate appearance so far this afternoon. Again, we're in the bottom of the fourth inning. If you're watching on the Facebook Live stream, you might see the graphic showing top of the fourth. We're tied into the scoreboard here at the Peterswood Park Complex, and they don't have the option of switching from top to bottom of the fourth there. So whatever the scoreboard says is what you're seeing on your graphic, but we appreciate them allowing us to tap into the system so you can see the Balls and strikes, the score and the outs recorded all afternoon long. As Musco finds the strike zone on the first pitch there to Zach Shimako. And now Musco out of the stretch. See if Ivanhoff attempts to run. And now time called here from Shimako. As you had Musco over in a dead stare. And 
Michael Ivanhoff's direction over at first base. And now Musco again taking his time. Glance at home, glance at first. Now deliver the 0-1 with a runner going. This one sent foul on the right side from Shimako. And now two strikes on the sophomore center fielder, Zach Shimako. As the Red Raiders try to get out of this bottom of the fourth inning with the Spartans not producing any additional damage at the plate. Montour's had at least one base runner in every inning so far. Just one run score, that back in the first inning. Shimako behind here, 0-2. Time was called by the home plate umpire, and now he's put the signal to put things back in play. Two strikes on Zach Shimako. Sophomore center fielder came into the game with a 379 average. Must go throw over to first. It's close, and the pickoff made. Was that ruled out at first? No, they are going to stay safe. Musco thought he got him over there at first. And now Kenny's going to come out here and talk to Dave Openowski over at first base. Get a confirmation here. They're not going to change the call. So the count's still 0-2. Must go to Shimako. Must go clean look over at first. Now delivers the 0-2 pitch. Missed high and outside. 1-2 and two now to Zach Shimako from Tate Musco. Musco sent down Jonathan Cecil and Jason George to start the inning. Give him a couple of strikeouts. Ivanhoff on with the infield single. Now a 1-2 count to Shimako. Pitch on the way. Fastball and a called strike three. It hopped away from Hunter Smiley. He'll make the throw down to first to make it official. So another strikeout from Tate Musco. That's now five recorded by Tate so far this afternoon. And we've played four innings with a score tied at one. Uniontown and Montour here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Day. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 61st year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Sova and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Sova and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Take it from me, Matt Sapienza, an actual satisfied customer. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Family owned and operated for 61 years. Always proud to support local high school sports. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Primer Rozak back here at Peterswood Park in Peters Township. Matt Sapienza behind the camera. TJ DeStefano back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. We're tied at one. Uniontown and Montour for a first round action. Winner will take on either Greater Latrobe or Hopewell in the quarterfinals coming up on Monday. Uniontown after a solo home run for Mason Kuhn in the top of the fourth inning. We'll have Gary Smitley, Braden Hinsey, and Tyler Gasper do up here in the top of the fifth. Hitters. Six, seven, and eight in the Red Raiders batting lineup. Smitley flew out to Jonathan Cecil in right field, first time up to end the second inning. 
Mateo Weber starting his fifth inning of work on the mound for the Montour Spartans. He's given up just two hits. Of course, the one hit, the solo home run to Kuhn. First pitch here finds the strike zone on a breaking ball to Gary Smitley. Smitley came into the game with a 231 average and one RBI. Senior DH mentioned eight of the nine players in the Uniontown batting lineup. All seniors. Their last go around looking to get the school their first playoff win in 41 years. Smitley fouling one off there on the right side. Count moves to 0 2. Red Raider dugout very much more involved in this game after the Coon home run in the fourth. Trying to keep it going here in the fifth. Weber the 0-2 to Gary Smitley. Swing and a miss. And down goes Smitley for Weber. Just his second strikeout of the afternoon. Also sent down Tyler Gasper back in the third inning. Now Braden Hinsey coming to the plate. Hinsey, Red Raider freshman. Step in correction. Gary Smitley, a junior on the Union Sound side. So seven of the nine seniors. Smitley, the junior, and Hinsey, the freshman at the plate. And the freshman, Hinsey, takes the first pitch, a breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Hinsey's had some big hits for Union Sound here late in the Regular season, good series against Greater Latrobe. Continued his solid production at the plate against Laurel Highlands as well. And produced a single back in the third inning. Was caught attempting to steal third. And picked up a out there and then came up empty on a swing and a miss there to put himself behind 0-2 against Mateo Weber. Now Hinsey to step back in. Again, we'll be seeing a lot of Braden Hinsey over the next couple of years for Union Town. Choking up on the bat here. And the lefty Weber winds and fires. Breaking ball misses outside. Takes the count to one and two to the Red Raider freshman. For Montour, they'll hitters nine, one, and two due up in the bottom half of the fifth. And again, they haven't produced a run since the bottom of the first. As Tate Musco has certainly gotten to a groove for Uniontown on the mound. Weber's 1-2 here to, uh, to Hinsey, and Hinsey puts it on the ground here to Short Tarquinio there. Throw over to first a little wide, but dug out of the dirt by Jason George over at first. Retire Hinsey on a close play. Retired 6-3 for the second out of the inning. Now Tyler Gasper coming to the plate. Gasper struck out back in the third inning. Trying to get his bat going. Game tied at one. Top of the fifth inning. Another close playoff game for the Union Town Red Raiders. Now Gasper showing bunt and pulls back. Pitch miss low for ball one. In the quarterfinals will be on Monday, semifinal round on Tuesday. And the winner here will have four days off before their next game. Weber checking his glove. Count 1-0 and to Tyler Gasper. Gasper again showing bunt. 1-0 pitches on the way. Missed for ball two. 2-0, and Weber to Gasper. Again, 6th seeded North Catholic will meet 11th seeded Elizabeth Forward here after the Spartans and Red Raiders wrap things up at Peterswood Park. See the Warriors warming up in right field. Taking this one in. Another missed pitch there from Weber. Takes the count to 3-0 to Tyler Gasper with the senior catcher Hunter Smiley due up next for Union 10. Now the 3-0, Gasper again showing bunt and pulls back, pitching there for a strike. Takes the count to 3-1, and one, and the base is empty. The Red Raiders just trying to find a way to get on here with Gasper. Kind of 3-1. 
3-1 pitches there. Gasper again shows bunt, pulls back. And they count 4-3 and 2. Pitch was in there for a strike. Gasper thought it was ball four. That pitch, at least from our perspective, clearly appeared to be inside the strike zone. Now the count of three and two. Weber will wind and fire, and Gasper fouls this one off on the right side. Count remains three and two. Lost a lot of baseballs here in the woods at Peterswood Park so far this afternoon. Trying to get some of them back. 3-2 pitch. Weber to Gasper, and Gasper another one. Fouled off into the woods. That one came back, though. <laughs> Try to retrieve some of those balls and get them back for future use this afternoon. Here we go again. Another 3-2 on the way, and Gasper sends this one down the right field line. Coming over to the line and making the catch is Jonathan Cecil for the third out of the innings. Uniontown retired 1-2-3 here in the top half of the fifth. We're still tied at one, moving to the bottom of the fifth here on the CR Brada Group High School Sports Day. I'm Bill Martin, and along with my partner Trip Radcliffe and Rob Harper, are attorneys at Radcliffe Martin Law. Our primary focus at Radcliffe Martin Law is representing people hurt in accidents. However, we handle workers' compensation claims, estate planning, real estate matters, and class actions. Radcliffe Martin Law is your hometown firm that offers conveniences not possible with Pittsburgh firms and provides better service than those firms. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. 724-439-39. Ready to start that spring project? That renovation? That addition? Are you struggling to find the right construction team that meets your needs? Are you looking for dedication, commitment, and quality? Well, then it's time to make the call to AK Contracting. Voted last year's best home builder and best remodeler contractor in Fayette County. Owner Aaron Kryzak is ready to help you make your home renovation dreams a reality. Call AK Contracting today, 724-550-0411. Don't settle for OK. Call AK today. At Town Printing Press, they are more than t-shirts. They are about you and everything you love. And they are local. Operated by Mookie John and Kenny Musco, they share the passion with your group, club, or team, the excitement you have for your event or cause, and that makes your business stand out from the rest. Uniontown Printing Press believes that custom t-shirts do more than just make you look good. They help you feel good and inspire you to do good. Call Uniontown Printing Press at 724-366-7095. That's 724-366-7095. Are you down with UPP? Uniontown and Montour still tied at one, moving down to the bottom of the fifth inning. Hitters 9-1 and 2 do up here for the Montour Spartans. It'll be Josh Paremba to lead things off. Paremba takes the first pitch for a strike. He's behind 0-1. Paremba struck out swinging in his first plate appearance. Back in the second inning, 0-1 pitch here. Hit on the ground to first easy play for Luke Gresh. Steps on the bag and... Makes the play three unassisted for the first down of this bottom of the fifth inning. And now the top of the order. Back up for Montour. It'll be Mateo Weber, who's walked twice in this game, stole a base and scored a run back in the first inning. Weber trying to get on for the third time this afternoon, his third plate appearance. Take the first pitch low and outside for ball one. Weber came into the game with a 367 average and 11 runs driven in. Sophomore pitcher actually got hit on a little throwback when he was trying to get back into the second base bag from Tate Musco that shook him up a bit back in the third inning. Almost gets hit by a pitch there as Musco brought one inside as the count moves now to 2-0 to Weber. But the Spartans used a courtesy runner and Xander Stern, they have Weber a little bit of a break, and Weber came back on to pitch the fourth and the fifth inning with really no signs of being injured at all. Takes a strike there, counting out two and one from Musco to Weber. So good to see him back at what seems like at 100% on the Spartan side. And he'll rip one here in a center field for a one-out hit for Montour. Just the third hit of the afternoon for the Spartans. 
Comes with one out here in the bottom of the fifth in the game side at one. And Weber on the base pass for the third time in this game with Maddox Tarquinio coming to the plate. Tarquinio is able to advance Weber down to third with a fly ball in the center field back in the first inning. Popped up to second baseman Mason Kuhn in the third. This is third, a third plate appearance of the game. Coming with one out and Weber on first. In a 1-1 game here in the bottom of the fifth and takes the first pitch, a breaking ball from Musco for ball one. Musco still looking strong. In fact, had three strikeouts in the fourth inning. Michael Ivanhoff with two outs in the fourth at an infield single. And Musco coming back and finding the strike zone here to Tarquinio, even if the count at one and one. And of course, Musco just yielding the single here to Weber with one out in the inning. Just the third Spartans hit of the afternoon. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. This one popped up in foul territory. No play on it there for Uniontown defensively. Moves the count now to one and two. And one out here in the inning. Musco now trying to finish off Tarquinio. Another long look over at first. Runner going 1-2 pitch. Misses high. Throw down to second. Close play. But underneath the tag is Weber for a stolen base. So he moves into scoring position. The count's 2-2. Two and two. We have one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Game still tied at one. Tarquinio at the plate. Again, he came into the game with a 382 average to so certainly do this afternoon. Three home runs and 19 RBIs. As the Spartans trying to break up this 1-1 tie right now. Musco, 2-2 two -two to Tarquinio, and Tarquinio hits it high in the air to right center field. Cam Jackson, the center fielder, gets under to make the catch. Weber tagging from second, gets down to third with no throw. So Tarquinio retired before the... Second time in this game, able to advance Weber down to third. He's able to come around and score in the last situation. That occurred, though, with one out in the inning after a Jacob Robinson ground ball picked up the 21st RBI of the season for Robinson, who's now back at the plate. And again, Robinson came into this game with a 385 average. He'll come down and talk to Bob Janita, Montour's head coach in his sixth year as the skipper for the Spartans. Andrew Porto due up behind Robinson if they get around to him here in the fifth inning. Uniontown in the top of the sixth will have hitters 9-1 and 2 due up. Hunter Smiley, Mason Kuhn, and Tate Mosco. Looks like we'll get a little activity here in the Spartans' bullpen as well. Had uh, Tarquinio jogging down the right field line to get loose. And Musco, a called strike there to Jacob Robinson. Counted 0-1. Had to think Robinson really needs to be aggressive in this situation. Two outs here in the inning. Runner at third for Montour in a 1-1 game. Swings the bat here but pops it up. It's going to go in the direction of the shortstop, Austin Grego. He's going to get caught off, and the ball drops in. Wow. Miscommunication there for Uniontown. Jackson charged in from center. It appeared Grego had a clear play on it, and Jackson unable to come up with the ball. Has to go as an E8, and it gives Montour a 2-1 to lead as Weber scores from third and what should have been the third out of the inning. Boy, you hate to give that one up if you're Uniontown. Wow. And you've had mistakes so far this afternoon. The other one that comes to mind was Hinsey attempting to steal third with nobody out back in the third inning after he was at second base. 
And Montour now taking a 2-1 lead here in the bottom of the fifth when it appeared that Uniontown was out of the inning defensively with no damage being done. Now Porto at the plate. That one hops away from the catcher Hunter Smiley and allows Robinson to get down to third. What a turnaround here in the bottom of the fifth. Hate to see that if you're Uniontown as well. And you go back and you look at that situation, Grego appeared to clearly have a beat on it. I'm not sure if Jackson called him off or what the situation ended up being there. And a called strike there on Porto from Musco, even if the count at one and one. But nonetheless, the ball dropped in. You had Weber running from third, was already at home plate and what should have been the third out of the inning. Ends up scoring. There's a rip from Porto, and that's going to score Robinson. Hinsey now with the relay coming in. It'll be a stand-up double from Andrew Porto in his 12th RBI of the season, scoring Jacob Robinson in what could have been a 1-1 game after five is now a 3-1 Montour lead. Boy, did this game change in a hurry. Now Kenny Musco coming out here to talk to Tate. You feel bad for Tate as well in this situation. Two unearned runs given up, and he's going to exit the game. You can sense the frustration there as well. So we'll have a pitching change on the Uniontown side. We'll take a timeout. Now 3-1, Montour over Uniontown. Still here with two outs in the bottom of the fifth on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. You can go to Big Box Medical Office. Now serving number 3,943. Or. Hi, come on in. How are you? When you see doctors Paul Hartley and Mary Beth Riley, plus nurse practitioners Tara Bozak, Jessica Reckhardt, and Stacey Morris, you get one-on-one -on -one personal professional health care serving the area for over three decades. If you're looking for a primary care doctor, call doctors Hartley and Riley at 724-437-1109 or online at ppcp.org. Or. Serving number 3,943. Does your car sound like it's saying, Trade me in! Trade me in! Every time you start it up, well, go to Ford of Uniontown and trade it in. That's right, your Uniontown Ford dealer is ready to assist you with a new or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV purchase. Ford of Uniontown has all the deals, all the inventory, and they are ready to deal. It has never been a better time to buy a Ford. Service is their top priority. No matter where you purchase your Ford car or truck, Ford of Uniontown will be happy to service it for you. They offer Ford trained technicians, Ford certified parts and service, one year, 12,000 mile parts warranties, and new state of the art service equipment. Call or stop in today to see the hometown service of Ford of Uniontown, Route 40 West, across from Applebee's. So listen to your car the next time you hear it say, Trade me in! Trade me in! Ford of Uniontown, Route 40 at the top of the hill. Montour now up 3-1 over Uniontown. New Red Raider pitcher is Austin Grego. This will be his 11th appearance of the season. Enters the game with a 2-2 two two record, 2.45 ERA. He's worked 34 in a third innings, given up 31 hits, 19 runs, 12 of them earned, struck out 50, and walked only six so far this season. Enters the game here with two outs in the bottom of the fifth, and Uniontown suddenly behind by a score of 3-1. to one. It appeared, again, if you're just joining us, that Uniontown would get out of the inning with no damage being done to Jacob Robinson. Fly ball that actually was in shallow left center field. You had Braden Hinsey from left, Cam Jackson from center, and Austin Grego from short all getting underneath the ball. It appeared that Grego was going to have a clear beat on it and kind of gave off to Cam Jackson. It was charging in from center. Ball ended up dropping in, allowed Mateo Weber to score on the play, and then a double from Andrew Porto scored Jacob Robinson to put the Spartans now on top of Uniontown 3-1. to one. Red Raiders making a pitching change here with Austin Grego coming on in relief of Tate Musco. A couple of other defensive changes as well. Musco was pitching, now playing first. Tyler Gasper moves from right field to shortstop. And Luke Gresh, who was playing first out in right field. So Uniontown making a number of changes here. And Grego, right-hander for Uniontown, will certainly give a different look at the Spartans, who will now have Jonathan Cecil coming to the plate. Cecil, the sixth Spartan at bat here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Montour now with Porto on second base. 
lead it two. And the Red Raiders lone run coming on a solo home run from Mason Kuhn. Back in the fourth inning, we're down to their final six outs in this game. Sun still out. Flag draped right across the pole in center field. And for Red Raider fans, things looking a little more gloomy right now. Looking for the school's first playoff win in 41 years. Down two with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And the Spartans looking to extend their cushion a little bit farther with Jonathan Cecil at the plate. Cecil was hit by a pitch back in the second inning. Struck out in the fourth. Grego here from the stretch. First pitch here to Cecil. It's a check swing. And Cecil did not go around. Pitch misses low for ball one. So Grego trying to get things settled down. The two runs scored by Montour here in the fifth inning. Both unearned runs. 1-0 pitch on the way. Fouled off that time by Cecil. Even if the count at one and one actually deflected off the fence here into the Montour bleachers on the right side where their fans are sitting. Always got to pay attention here at high school baseball games. Josh Scully and I had one up in the booth at Laurel Islands last week for the Mustangs game against Blackhawk that appeared to come from right field. 1-1 now on the way from Grego. This ball popped up here on the left side. It'll be Wyatt Nails, the third baseman, getting under. It'll make the catch for the third out of the inning, but the damage already done. Two runs scored by Montour here in the bottom half of the fifth. Spartans lead the Red Raiders 3-1, going to the top half of the sixth here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Day. For over 45 years, the Davis & Davis Law Firm has stood by the great people of Fayette, Green, and the surrounding counties, turning their legal battles into victories. If you're hurt or injured, don't wait. It's time to call on the experience you can trust. With Davis & Davis, you're not just a case number. You're part of our community. Call 724-437-2799 today for your free consultation, and one of our six attorneys will personally meet you at the Davis & Davis Law Firm. Call 724-437-2799 for your free consultation. Bad hair. Bad day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sproul's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Moving down to the top half of the sixth inning, Hunter Smiley, Mason Kuhn, and Tate Musco do up for Union Town. Hitters 9 1 and 2. Red Raiders now down to a 3 to 1. Remember, Smiley had that home run for Union Town, a final conference series two weeks ago against Laurel Highlands. Boy, would Union Town like to see Smiley get on here. And the lone Union Town run scored in this game, so a home run for Mason Kuhn in the top of the fourth. And he'll be up behind Smiley. Tail Weber still on the hill here for Montour, starting his sixth inning of work. Again, Uniontown looking to pull an upset here against Montour. Close last year, lost in the first round of the playoffs by a score of 3-2. to two. That one slipping out of Weber's hand, actually went behind Smiley. Count at 1-0 with Smiley showing bunt. Again, Smiley showed he has some Punching that bat, that home run a couple of weeks back. The Union Town looking for any way to get a base runner here down two. Smiley squares away, pulls back, pitching there for a strike, evens up the count at one and one. And the Red Raiders 
with a very senior-oriented group here in 2024. Might be their last chance for a little while to make a run into the postseason as Smiley comes up empty there, swinging and missing at the 1-1 pitch. Starting to be a lot of younger Red Raiders in the lineup in 2025. Kenny Muscoings does a great job coaching this Uniontown bunch. One two pitch on the way outside, now two and two here to Hunter Smiley. For a Uniontown program that went eight years without even seeing the postseason, now in the playoffs for the third consecutive season. Again, it's been 41 years since they won a WPIL playoff game. 2 2 here, Weber to Smiley, hit on the ground to third, scooped up by Ivanhoff. Throw over to first in time to Jason George to retire Smiley 5-3 for the first out of this top half of the sixth inning. But now the Red Raiders bring it around the top of the order here in Mason Kuhn. Kuhn the solo home run last time up. Trying to get things going here with one out in the top of the sixth inning. And the first of two here from Peterswood Park, North Catholic. The sixth seed in 4A, taking on 11 seeded Elizabeth Forward. That game's scheduled to start at 4.30 this afternoon as Kuhn takes the first pitch here, low for ball one. There's some sirens in the distance. Understand we're pretty close to a fire station here, right just outside of Peters Township. 1-0 pitch on the way. And therefore, a strike one and one now to Mason Kuhn. Actually located pretty close to where a tornado touched out a couple of days ago in Finleyville. Near the golf course that was formerly named Scenic Valley. In the Tracks Farm area. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Kuhn and Mason fouls it off here on the right side. Makes the count to 1-2. and two. Tate must go and do up behind Mason Kuhn. For a lot of these Red Raider the seniors, they're hoping this is not the last at bat of their high school career. One and two now, Weber to Kuhn. And that pitch misses low and inside. Evens up the count at two and two. And working with one out in the top of the sixth inning. Montour will have an opportunity to extend the lead. In the bottom of the sixth inning, that are six, seven, and eight due up. George Ivanhoff and Shamako. And here's a ground ball that eats up Tarquinio at shorts. And Mason Kuhn aboard. A little life here for Uniontown. In the top of the sixth, with Tate Musco coming to the plate. And now Uniontown in a situation where one swing of the bat could tie this game up. Musco, three home runs already this season. Two came in that series against Bell Vernon. And the Leps this afternoon will get underway at 430 against 16-seeded Blackhawk at the Boys Mayview Complex. As you have Weber checking Kuhn here over at first. Now Musco certainly has the bat to tie this game for Union Town. Lefty versus lefty matchup here and a breaking ball inside almost clipped Muskill. Thomas Jefferson has now increased their lead to 9-3 to three over Ringgold. And that game in the bottom of the sixth inning over the Boyce Mayview Complex. Ringgold had an early lead in that contest. As Weber misses the strike zone here to Musco, takes the count to 2-0. and oh. Wonder if Weber may be wearing down a little bit. Red Raiders a little hope here in the top of the sixth inning down two a three to one. 2-0 pitch on the way, misses high. 3-0 to Tate Musco. Cam Jackson due up next for Union Town. Would love to redeem himself at the plate as the Red Raiders look for a little sixth inning rally. 3-0 pitch to Musco, called ball four. 
So after the error from Tarquinia, allowing Kuhn to get on board, Tate must go walking. And now two on with one out, and Cam Jackson coming to the plate. The Union Town down three to one. Now Ryan Gamble coming out. We'll talk here with Mateo Weber. Third baseman Michael, Michael Ivanov also steps over along with Josh Paremba, the second baseman. Now the whole infield coming in here. As the Spartans will talk a little strategy. Still up three to one, one out. Top of the sixth inning, but Uniontown threatening, and we might have a pitching change now on the Montour side. Double check here, but it appears we will. And yes, the Spartans will have a new pitcher, so we'll take a timeout. It's 3-1 Montour over Uniontown. Top of the six. Red Raiders two on with one out. We come back on the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. Quality care doesn't have to be hard to find. NovaCare Rehabilitation has locations in Uniontown and Masontown and is accessible for all of your recovery needs. Same day appointments and no referral needed means making an appointment is an easy process. Industry leading treatments, including LBST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks, are available at both locations. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. Don't miss the opportunity to personalize your care with NovaCare. Are you managing diabetes and need supplies? Peach and Pharmacy can help you. They understand the importance of quality diabetic care. The pharmacy offers a wide range of supplies, all tailored to meet your needs and your budget. Plus, they can deliver your supplies and prescriptions to you. Trust your local pharmacy for all your diabetic needs and to help you. Visit Peach and Pharmacy in downtown Connellsville or call 724-626-9600. Peach and Pharmacy, your partner in diabetic care. Peach and Pharmacy. Your local pharmacy. You can go to Big Box Medical Office. Now serving number 3,943. Or... Hi, come on in. How are you? When you see doctors Paul Hartley and Mary Beth Riley, plus nurse practitioners Tara Bozek, Jessica Reckhardt, and Stacey Morris, you get one-on-one -on -one personal professional health care serving the area for over three decades. If you're looking for a primary care doctor, call doctors Hartley and Riley at 724-437-1109 or online at ppcp.org. Or serving number 3,944. Back here at Peterswood Park, the Montour Spartans making a pitching change. Maddox Tarquinio, the new pitcher. Josh Paremba was playing second base, now moving over to short to take Tarquinio's position, and I believe you're going to have... Weber now playing second. We'll double-check that in just a moment. Some numbers for you on Tarquinio. This will be his eighth appearance, 0-1 record, 2.62 ERA. Has worked 10 and two-thirds innings, giving up 10 hits, six runs, four of them earned. Struck out 21, has walked only three so far this season, trying to shut down Uniontown here in the top half of the sixth inning after the Red Raiders were able to put. And they're going to tell me that uh, Weber now in center field where Zach Shimako was at. So we'll update that. We're just trying to get confirmation on who's playing second base right now with Mateo Weber taking Shimako's spot in center. So it might be Shimako moving over to second. Again, we'll double check that when we can and get a number on the second baseman with Cam Jackson coming to the play. Jackson 0 for 2 today. But a good spot here with two on for the Red Raiders and one out facing a new pitcher in Maddox Tarquinio. Tarquinio from the stretch. Jackson showing butt. Now Tarquinio steps off the mound. And no pitch delivered. So the new second baseman now on the Montour side is Braden Davin. And that one... A called strike hopped away there from Ryan Gamble, who's able to regain. So Davin playing second base now for Montour. Count 0-1 to Cam Jackson. Tarquinio, long look in here out of the stretch. Jackson with the bat choked up. Might be squaring around. He is. Lays down the bunt, which goes foul on the right side and takes the count to 0-2. Now Jackson's going to have to swing away here with two on and one out in the inning. Starquinio trying to shut things down for Montour. 
Red Raiders with a game-tying run on first go-ahead run right now at the plate. 0-2 counts. Maddox Tarquinio to Cam Jackson. The 0-2 pitch on the way. Jackson swinging a miss, strike three. So a big strikeout there from Tarquinio. Produces the second out of the inning, and now Cam Jackson 0 for 3 today. And Wyatt Nails coming to the plate. Nails grounded out 5-3 back in the second inning. Walked in the fourth. Comes to the plate here with two outs, and the Red Raiders down two. A runner's on first and second. And love an extra base hit here. Possibly tie the game. Tarquinio's first pitch here to nail. Swing get a miss from Wyatt. Counted 0-1. Chased after that one a bit. And at last check, Thomas Jefferson up 9-3 over Ringgold. North Catholic will meet Elizabeth Forward here at Peterswood Park later on today. 4.30 scheduled start. Tarquinio's 0-1 to Wyatt nail. Swing get a miss and Wyatt now behind. 0-2. Good opportunity here for Uniontown to try to work their way back into this game. After Mason Kuhn got on via in air and Tate Musco walked here in the sixth. But Wyatt Nails behind 0-2 here against Maddox Tarquinio. Tarquinio glanced back at second. 0-2 pitch on the way. And a called strike three. Nails thought it was inside. But back-to-back -back strikeouts from Maddox Tarquinio came into the game in relief of Mateo Weber here in the top half of the sixth inning. So Uniontown coming up empty. And we'll move to the bottom of the sixth. Still 3-1 Montour over Uniontown here on the CR Barada Group High School Sports Day on WMBS. At Uniontown Printing Press, they are more than t-shirts. They are about you and everything you love. And they are local. Operated by Mookie John and Kenny Musco, they share the passion with your group, club, or team. The excitement you have for your event or cause. And that makes your business stand out from the rest. Uniontown Printing Press believes that custom t-shirts do more than just make you look good. They help you feel good and inspire you to do good. Call Uniontown Printing Press at 724-366-7095. That's 724-366-7095. Are you down with UPP? The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. At Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Back here at Peterswood Park, a 3-1 lead for the Montour Spartans over the Uniontown Red Raiders. Moving now to the bottom half of the sixth inning, Jason George, Michael Ivanhoff, and Zach Shimako do up here for Montour. George to lead things off. He's one for two today, had an infield single back in the second inning, struck out in the fourth inning. Spartans looking for a little insurance. Now facing Austin Grego. Came on in relief of Tate Musco back in the fifth inning. Grego wind and fire the first pitch here to George. Misses outside for ball one. Montour scoring two unearned runs in that fifth inning. After a Uniontown fielding error allowed Mateo Weber to score. Andrew Porto's double drove in Jacob Robinson. That one fouled off by Jason George to even up the count at one and one. Uniontown in the top half of the seventh down of their final three outs. We'll have Austin Grego, Gary Smitley, and freshman Braden Hinsey do up. Hitters five, six, and seven. Count one and one here. Grego to Jason George. 
Grego's pitch, and all check swing foul on the right side from George. Takes the count to one and two. Good to see former Pirates broadcaster Lanny Terry up here in the press box. We'll have the call of the North Catholic Elizabeth forward game later on today on the Triple Live High School Sports Network. Always good to have Lanny checking in with us. Certainly miss him on the air doing Pirates games. That one in foul territory, and Musco making a run for it, but the ball just over the fence and out of play as the count remains one and two. Again, Uniontown made some defensive changes as well when Musco came out. Tate now playing first. Tyler Gasper now the shortstop, and Luke Gresh now out in right as Grego trying to finish off Jason George here for the first out of the bottom half of the sixth inning. 1-2 pitch here on the way, and a line drive ripped from George into left field. Hinsey a little juggle trying to regain, and will do just that, holding George to a single. But Montour, an insurance base runner on board here with George, with Michael Ivanhoff coming to the plate. Ivanhoff aboard in both plate appearances so far this afternoon, walked in the second inning, infield single in the fourth. We might have a change here on the Montour side. Ivanhoff, though, appears to be coming to the plate. Have a little meeting here. It might be a base running change here. And they're going to have a pinch runner here for Jason George. We get a number there. It'll be number eight, the pinch runner there. That'll be Xander Stern. To Stern running for George. Now Ivanhoff at the plate. He's a lefty against the righty Austin Grego. First pitch on the way. Misses inside for ball one. Nails in at third. And he protecting against the possible bunt here from Ivanhoff. The Spartans choose to play a little small ball. Here in the bottom of the sixth, up two at three to one. Grego's 1-0 pitch here to Ivanhoff. The runner going, scoring away to Bunn, able to lay it down. The pitch was in the dirt. No throw there from Hunter Smiley. So Stern moving down to second. Count now 2-0 here to Ivanhoff. Red Raiders down 2-3-1. Just looking for some outs here without the Spartans doing any additional damage. Montour scoring a run in the first inning, attacking on two in the bottom half of the fifth for their three runs. Lone Uniontown run was a solo home run for Mason Kuhn. That occurred back in the top half of the fourth inning. 2-0 pitch here. Again, squaring away to Bunt and fouling it off that time was Ivanhoff. Counting out 2-1. North Catholic and Elizabeth Forward continue to warm up out in the softball field. They have a scheduled 4-30 start again here at Peterswood Park this afternoon. Counting out 2-1 and one here. Grego to Ivanhoff, and Ivanhoff, the rip here in the left field. Hinsey getting under, will make the catch for the first out of the inning. Holding it second is Xander Stern, the pinch runner. So one away, bottom of the sixth inning now. Zach Shimako coming to the plate, and actually it's going to be Braden Davin. So Davin a hit. Remember, they made those defensive changes in the last half inning with the pitching change as well. Shimako was playing center. Weber took his position after he was pitching. And then Dunn moved over to second base, which those switches, Dunn's now hitting for Montour. And squaring around a bunt here for the Spartans. Pulls back, pitching there for a strike throw down to third. And they would have had Stern there if the ball was caught by Nails. Nails unable to hang on to it. And getting down to third safely there is the pinch runner Stern. A count now 0-1. Okay. That's okay. I have, I put a new set in. Okay. So that should get us to the And Grego now. The 0-1 pitch. Stern showing bunt. Lays it down. A little one hopper going there right to Grego. Makes the throw to home. And the tag made to retire Stern for the second out of the inning. 
So a good play defensively there from Uniontown. Goes as a fielder's yeah, choice. The second out recorded with Josh Paremba now coming to the plate. Now done over at first. But the throw down to home prevented the Spartans from extending their lead to three. Now time called. Paremba 0 for 2 today. And something dropped there in front of home plate. Sure, so that was a mouthpiece or what, but a good eye there from Frank Kingerski, the home plate umpire, to spot it. And now Musco getting set with the first pitch to Paremba, but it'll check Dunn over at first for making the delivery. Again, Union Town will have Grego, Smitley, and Hinzi do up in the top half of the seventh as Hinzi still can or check that Grego still concerned with Dunn over at first. Deep breath there from Grego. Pitch on the way, called ball to Paremba. Makes the count to 1 0. And coming up later on tonight on WMBS on the radio side from 8 to 10, we'll have the NFL schedule release show from Westwood One. Tune in for that. Pirates baseball back tomorrow. The Pirates out in Chicago opening up a series against the Cubs. That one fouled off by Paremba. Take the count now to 0 2. Craig go on in relief of Tate Musco on the Union Sound side. Actually check that, count one and one. Now correct it. Runner going, 1-1 one, one pitch on the way, called strike, throw down a seconds wide, and a stolen base there from Braden Dunn. Count now one and two. Paremba at the plate. Spartans lead the Red Raiders at three to one. Musco glance back at second. Trying to finish off Paremba. Pitch on the way and Paremba popping this one up in a shallow center field. Charging and getting is Cam Jackson for the third out of the inning. So Uniontown down to their final three outs. We go to the top of the seventh. 3 1 Montour over Uniontown here in the CR Parada Group. High School Sports Night. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division LLC. Because Ted Silva, Body and Fender Repair, is concerned about our local community, Target Safety Solutions was born. Located beside the Ted Silva Body Shop at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibrations after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement. Their alignment machine can accommodate lowered vehicles to only trucks and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features in order to keep their occupants safe. That is the reason Target Safety Solutions originated. The new state-of-the-art facility is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. They are currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick Patricelli and Mike Thomas are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at Target Safety Solutions at 724-550-4403. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sproul's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Moving down to the top of the seventh inning, Uniontown down to their final three outs in Austin Grego, Gary Smitley, and Braden Hinsey. On in relief for Montour, Maddox Tarquinio, replacing Mateo Weber. And the Red Raiders, this senior class, trying to 
extend their season in the playoffs for a third straight year. Again, they haven't won a playoff game since 83. You need a big top half of the seventh inning here. Grego 0 for 2 today. A couple of fly ball outs popped up to first base back in the second. Flew out to second base in the fourth. Came into the game, though, with a 324 average and four RBIs. Number seven, pitcher, Austin Grego. Grego started the game playing second base, now pitching in relief of Tate Musco. Tarquinio's first pitch here to Grego called strike. Tarquinio looked sharp in relief. Struck out Cam Jackson and Wyatt Nails. Then the top half of the sixth inning. After the Red Raiders appear to have something going with two on and one out. Breaking ball there, curved right back in for a strike from Tarquinio. Now 0-2 to Austin Grego. Now Tarquinio, the 0-2 to Austin Grego. Well, one outside, maybe trying to get Grego to chase that one. Count now one and two. Grego looking for a big hit here for Union Town as Tarquinio winds and fires a one-two pitch. Ground ball down the first baseline and able to come up with it. There is Jason George. Will go into right field, and Grego aboard. Now Gary Smitley coming to the plate. So a little life for Uniontown here in the top half of the seventh inning. And we're going to have a courtesy runner here for the pitcher on the Uniontown side. It'll be Ethan White. So Ethan White, it's a run here for Grego who's now pitching on the Uniontown side. White, good speed. And now you have Smitley at the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Flew out to right field back in the second inning. Struck out swinging back in the fifth. Smitley represents the game-tying run right now on the Uniontown side. Tarquinio glance over his shoulder at White over at first. Now the first pitch on the way here to Smitley called strike 0-1. And you don't have to be too concerned about White right now, really concerned about Smitley as he represents the tying run in this game. Freshman Braden Hinsey due up next. Hinsey won for two today. Now Tarquinio's 0-1 here to Smitley. Misses outside, evens up the count at 1-1. One See how aggressive the Red Raiders get here with White on the base pass. Back in the third inning, Braden Hinsey let off the inning with a single. Stole second safely, and then they rolled the dice again, sent him down to third. He was caught stealing third and kind of got Uniontown out of an inning where they had a runner on second and nobody out. And now White running here. Pitch missed, throw down to second, not in time. White was off the base for a moment, got back on it. And remained safe, but it was close over there at second. And Kenny Musco shouting over Ethan as well in the second base bag. Last pitch missed, so the count's at two and one to Gary Smitley. So the Red Raiders continue to have a little life here. Down their final three outs, now Smitley calls time. And Elizabeth Ford will play North Catholic in the nightcap here at Peterswood Park. A little eye contact warning given here. Haven't seen that called much. 2-1 pitch on the way, and Smitley off the inside of the bat. Hits a fly ball in the center field. Getting under it, making the catch is Weber. For the first out of the inning, no tag there from White Weber. Good arm. It goes to the first out of the inning now with Braden Hinsey coming to the plate. Again, Hinsey one for two today. Trying to get aboard here for Indiantown. Tyler Gasper, two up behind Hinsey. 
Hensie batting from the seventh position in the Red Raiders batting lineup. One out here, top of the seventh. Spartans up three to one. Looking for a playoff win over Uniontown for a second straight season. Tarquinio glanced back at White at second. Now delivers the first pitch here to Hensie called strike 0 1. For Hensie, have to be aggressive here at the plate. The Red Raiders down two. Thomas Jefferson at last check up 11-3 over Ringgold in the seventh. Jags the number two seed in this 4A field. 0-1 now, Tarquinio to Hensie swing and a miss. Now the freshman behind 0-2. And the winner will take on either Greater Latrobe or Hopewell. That game just underway at Plum High School this afternoon. Tarquini a long look in here. Glance back at second. Has two strikeouts in relief already. And now has his third as Hinzi swings and misses at the 0-2. And now you need sound down to their final out. Tyler Gasper coming to the plate. Gasper 0 for 2 today. You have White, the courtesy runner, on second. But it's Gasper at the plate that represents the game tying run. Here we go. Tarquinio's first pitch to Gasper, and Tyler fouls it off on the right side. Cal no one won. Doug Saltzman will have his program on the way next until 7 o'clock tonight. Again, we'll have the NFL scheduled release show at 8, and if I make it there on time, we'll have the LH School Board meeting on the WMBS Facebook page at 6 tonight as well. A one pitch on the way. High and outside, and now you're going to have White making his way down to third. And I count even at one and one from Tarquinio to Gasper. And again, White's run really means nothing at this point. It's Gasper at the plate that needs to get on here for Uniontown to give the Red Raiders a chance at extending this one. So Gasper back in the batter's box. Count one and one. Tarquinio to Gasper. Pitch on the way. Gasper, a little one hopper going here to second. That could do it. Done. We check that Davin over to George to end the game as Gasper retired 4 3. So the Spartans hang on. Uniontown, a lot of fight here this afternoon. But Montour knocking off Union 10 for a second straight year in the first round of the WPIL playoffs with a 3-1 to one win. Well, a quick recap of this game. Again, the lone Union Town run, a solo home run from Mason Kuhn. Montour getting a run on an RBI from Jacob Robinson driving in. Mateo Weber back in the first inning. Two runs scored in the fifth inning as you had a double from Andrew Porto scoring Jacob Robinson. Mateo Weber scoring on an air after a Robinson fly ball in the center field was dropped by Uniontown defensively. Red Raiders a couple of opportunities getting men on base in the sixth and seventh inning, but coming up empty as Montour knocks off Uniontown by a score of 3-1. to one. So a quick sign-off here from Peterswood Park in Peters Township this afternoon. I have to thank Matt Sapienza behind the camera, TJ DeStefano, Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. I'm going to hustle off to the LA School Board meeting, which you can watch on the Laurel, or we can watch on the WMBS Facebook page coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. Again, your final score, Montour 3, Uniontown 1. Song, everybody, from Peterswood Park. Okay.